Alright, 65 El Camino, taking off the drip rails. I've already taken the aluminum trim off, both sides. That's all stripped. This part down here, just unscrewed. Let's go to the other side, I'll show you what I did. It's quick and dirty, you only need a few tools. Alright, so, trim came off this side with a screwdriver. That left the L channel that came up. What I did is I took a cutoff wheel from Harbor Freight and I proceeded to cut the entire drip rail off, not cutting into the actual body. Then I took a grinder and I ground it smooth. Then I came back with the cutoff wheel and I did a little bit of a gap right down at the bottom. What that allows is this panel and this panel to have penetration with the weld. Then with my 220 welder set pretty cold, I came back and I did about a half an inch and I skipped half an inch all the way through, eventually filling in the entire thing with weld, not getting it too hot. You don't want to distort your roof. You don't want to catch anything on fire. You don't want to splatter anything. So cover everything with paper and tape. And then you want to take and, and cover it with a blanket like I did. So everything was protected, all the trim, everything was good to go. And at that point, it was welded and I let it air dry. You don't want to take and quench it with a rag, otherwise you can take and screw up your body panels. So everything's welded, ground, ready for mud. From the time I started until now, I may have half an hour in each side, so it's pretty, pretty quick. Well, I really don't drive in the rain. I'm not worried about any water getting in. Some people say that you may get some water. You know what, most guys that have cars, custom cars don't really drive in the rain, so. It's up to you. I like the look. Now it's going to be mudded and primered. Thanks. Later.